It's overwhelming. It's like a miracle just to see so many people, so much love. And that's unfortunate. Sometimes we get caught up with our daily lives and we forget to give back or to do a good deed or just to say a thank you or hold a door open for somebody. And it's unfortunate sometimes it takes a tragic incident for us to remember those things. He's always been a great kid. He was always, he has always been a blessing. Uh, I remember incidents one time when he was probably five, six years old. We want, walked into either a McDonald's or a Burger King and he'd seen those little charity boxes on the, on the counter and he took out, I don't know, he had two, three dollars in his pocket and he took it out and put it right in there and didn't look at nobody, didn't say nothing and, and I didn't say nothing to him either. I just left him alone. He's always had a huge heart, kind heart. He loved animals, he loved people, he loved his job. He's always been a blessing. He was a blessing then and he's a blessing now. To see the Toledo ones come together and everybody else, you know, the Michigan, I mean, from over here from the Michigan border, and it's just like, wow. I mean, love always defeats hate, always. You know, same way, you know, look at the light. I mean, light always overcomes darkness. And so let's not be quick to judge people because we don't know. Let's not be quick to get angry with people because we don't know what situation they're going through. Just because somebody's not your brother in religion or your brother in a certain race, we're all brothers and sisters in humanity.